You're a big Tyson, man. You? You're a big guy. You are really when, I, when I hugged you, I was like holding your waist, like, yo, what going on? <laughs> <laughs> and you also delayed your holiday to come and do the show, so thank you very much for doing that, man. I didn't end up going. You didn't end up going? All your fault. I'm in big trouble with the missus. Hey, man. <laughs> your black man well rise up, man. How about you? <laughs> <laughs> your first fight since you, your comeback was Deontay Wilder, yeah. which was an amazing fight. I've never been in the ring, so I can't imagine what it's like to get a hit like that. But how did you manage to get back up? Like, what was going through the mind of Tyson Fury at that point when you hit the floor? You know, it was one of them things. I had a plan in my mind for round 12. I was going to go out, hit him with a couple of big shots and get him out of there because I was way ahead on the scorecards and all I needed to do was see that round out. I'm not getting knocked out. Uh, didn't go to plan. I went out hitting with a great one too, and I stepped back to finish him, and all of a sudden I woke up on, on the floor and I thought, fuck, you're down, get up! <laughs> you are like the Undertaker. Yeah, I was. But what, one thing, you know, like, that punch that he, like, you know, that he gave you, he, that's the best he can ever give you, right? It is. So in the rematch, are you going in thinking like, well, what else, you've hit me with your best shot, I, I won every round, even the, the round where he knocked you down, you, you could argue that he won that. Yeah. He got back up and then, then battered him. You know, the thing is, the thing is, I'm not going to take any credit away from Wilder. He's a, he's a great champion and he's a, he's a tough puncher. But if he can't beat a man who had three years out of the ring, drug addiction, alcohol addiction and mental health problems, then how the fuck's he going to beat me now? Yeah. Now, what's going on with AJ? Is that fight going to happen? Because you guys get at each other, and so you're very vocal to your other opponents. You tell them what it is. After his last performance, little fat man's knocked him clean out. <laughs> <laughs> we got yeah. the little fat guys. <laughs> Check this, yeah? The funniest thing is, the last 20, 30 years, the two most well-conditioned athletes in boxing has been Vladimir Klitschko mm -hmm. and Anthony Joshua. Mm -hmm. And I think it's very fitting that two fat men knocked him out. <laughs> Engine tomorrow, man. Yeah. <laughs> but who was your money on Asim? Cos you tweeted it, you said that your money would be on Fury. <laughs> yeah. Where were you? Not gonna lie, oh. Tyson Fury would bang AJ. Yeah, that was... Uh, look at the timestamp for that. Come on, Asim. 5, 10 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> that was really, like, hard to see. <laughs> Not gonna lie, bang him, bro. <laughs> In your last fight, I was just saying to you, was, his head movement was, like... It was Ali-esque. You know, my money's on Tyson all day. You know what? I don't know about boxing, but when I go to the barbershop, I'm going to say all the <laughs> <laughs>